Well, welcome everybody. This, uh, this could be the, the first and last uh, meeting that we have, but the intent of this is to get uh, some users together. This is much less about selling and more about to have collaboration with you as a user group. Uh, so the thought process is to, uh, I kind of genericized and called it the Colorado Digital Media <coughs> User Group. Initially, when I sent out my spam to all of you, it was more around Adobe and Quantum. Well, not coincidentally, most of you guys are all Adobe, most of you guys are all Quantum, but really you guys deal with things that go much beyond just those two particular platforms. We do have some guests from Quantum and some guests from Adobe here today. Um, so, well, well, anyways, welcome to this first inaugural. I can get the slide to wake up. I think my computer is uh, locked. All right, there we go. Quick agenda. Um, we're done the reception. Introductions, what I'm, when I asked everyone to do, there's several groups here that have several people within the group. I'll have one spokesperson per group to stand up and introduce your organization uh, who's here so that we don't have to go through everybody in the room. But we're a good cross-section of customers, as, you'll, as you guys will notice. Um, Dave Zer with Cronky uh, will be as the host uh, customer. In theory, if we do this again, we'll rotate the hosting of it. Remax is also offered to be a host at a future event uh, down in the tech center. So Dave's going to do some opening remarks. Uh, we'll quickly then go into a, a moderated panel that, that, uh, that uh, I'll moderate myself with Adobe Quantum, as well as Brent Klein uh, from Cronky as well. And then we'll wrap up with an Adobe and Quantum uh, presentation. Actually, Adobe's going to do a demonstration rather than a presentation. I'm sure you'll appreciate that better than more, more PowerPoint. And then there'll be some, I think, some box lunches to, to leave. I think we have to be out of the facility by around 1 o'clock because they have to prepare for a Nugget game tonight, right? The Nugs are playing. Okay, any questions so far? Bathrooms are just over, out here to the right, um, I noticed, the way you walked in. So let's start with the introductions. Um, I'll start, I know most of you, I believe. My name is Lance Huckel, I'm with Storexcel. We're a systems integrator. Uh, we focus in the digital media uh, side of the world, thus the, you know, kind of the rationale on hosting such an event. Uh, we do business across the coast. We do a lot of government work, um, both with NASA as well as other media type of uh, environments in the government sector. But we're just here to re represent as a systems integrator to give you guys a, kind of that look, and I'll share some trends that I'm seeing in the marketplace as well. Uh, joining me is two graduates almost here. We have Kaylee Boots. Uh, she's at Colorado State. She's a communications media major. And Brooke Williams, she's out of CU Boulder. She's also gradu graduating this spring with a poli sci degree. You're doing Spanish, right? One of you? Yeah. you. So uh, they're helping me with the event today. Okay? Who wants to go first? Dave Zur, why don't you sure. please help introduce the Cronky Extended I'm Team? I'm Dave Zur, and uh, we have a pretty good group here today. Uh, to my right, Jim Miller, <coughs> who is our SVP um, <coughs> Programming and Production and the executive producer for Altitude. We have Ms. Billy Capra over here, who is the vice president of broadcast operations here at the Pepsi Center related to all the activities in the building at the big plate. We have uh, Matt Kroll, co coordinating producer, right, for Altitude. Robert Nicholson, one of our engineering group. Mr. Brent Klein, who's our S senior director, so I almost got it wrong. Our Promoted, our promoted. That we almost a promotion. And Tim DeLay, who left my engineering group to become the director, I'm sorry, a <laughs> programming a production ops manager. So he's really keeping all of the uh, things related to our truck work, all of our studio production, all that stuff going on. So we pretty good group here. All right, did we miss anybody on the cronky side? No? All right. Uh, Van Bedian, uh, you want to introduce yourself in Adobe? Sure. Hi, I'm Van Bedian from Adobe. Um, pleasure to, uh, to be here with you guys. I've had the pleasure and privilege of working with quite a few of you. Uh, I'm on the <coughs> business development or strategic development team for Adobe, so we specialize in the video products, uh, helping get our video products in the market, main customers like you successful with them. So we appreciate um, all of you that are using Adobe to support Adobe. Uh, I have my colleague with me, Carl Soule, who's a California native. He's living in Singapore the last five years. He just came back. He's one of our top application guys. He does all our demos at NAB and things like that. So happy to have him, uh, expert in the products as well. Um, look forward to spending the day with you guys and anything we can do to help uh, make it more successful with Adobe, we're, we're happy to be involved. So thank you very much. 
Thank you. Thank you. How about uh, Quantum? We'll stay on the vendor side here. Uh, Dave Fredericks, you want to introduce the Quantum team? Yeah, hi, I'm Dave Fredericks. I run media and entertainment for Quantum. Quantum people just stand up because you're scattered out all over the place. Okay. Uh, so let's see, we have Greg Hollick, who's responsible for cloud solutions, and uh, Treadwell, who runs sales tech. Sales guy. Okay. <laughs> Regional sales manager for the M&E space for media services group. And Andre is here somewhere. There's Andre G. Yeah. yeah. He's in New York tech for uh, this area. Okay, so we're, we're on the gamut here. You can talk about stuff, you can get stuff fixed, and you can buy stuff. <laughs> Great. Thank you. How about someone from Focus on the Family? Ivan? I'm Ivan Penkoff. I'm the Assistant Chief Engineer at Focus on the Family. And along with me uh, today, I have John Benzer from our films team, Amber Hansen from our international and global outreach team, uh, Abe Simpson and James Hansen, and uh, Joe Heberling from our IT uh, server management team. Excellent. Thank you. How about uh, Dustin or Susan? Uh, hi, I'm Susan Gallo. Uh, I'm from Remax, which you know is a real estate company. It's all real estate franchises, but we also have a studio um, production facility, and we have five edit bays in the Denver Tech Center. So I'm the production manager. I oversee all of that. Uh, Dustin is our technical guy. He oversees all of our systems. Excellent. How about someone from Larry Flint, Brad? I'm uh, Brad Machno. Um, Great, thank you. Uh, Josh or Dustin or, uh, or Andrew? Andrew Moraski, uh, Post Super at Citizen Pictures, and Josh Dervish, uh, VP of Post and Operations. They do diners, dives, and what's Triple D stand for again? Yeah. Triple D, they do, they do post for Triple D. I always like to say that, it's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, anybody else at that table that didn't get introduced? Oh, Carol, yeah. Awesome, great, thank you, Carol. Anybody else on, on the has not been introduced over there? All right, uh, Dave, how about you? Uh, Dave Carey, senior manager of post production at Stars. Uh, besides post production, I also oversee our asset management and storage side of things as well. Great, thank you. Uh, Tim, you want to introduce? Sure. Um, my name's Tim Lee. Uh, we're from uh, Dish Network. We have. I'm on the systems engineering side. Uh, we also have Andy, Andrew Dudley. Studio manager and Glenn Hamba. Great, thank you. And Anne. Um, I'm Anne. I'm the station director at the Open Media Foundation. Um, we do nonprofit video production, <coughs> web development, education for the community, for the community. And I run Denver Open Media, which is our community media television station here in Denver. So I do like <coughs> Great, thank you. Did everyone get introduced, get represented? Uh, I'm Vance Gerard uh, from Wyatt Creative. Oh, Vance, yeah. Shows, yeah. yeah. Do a lot of regional work for Floors. Uh, offices working 
than Wazi, so fairly close. And I got Tyler Kellogg, one of our editor designers here. Great. Welcome. <laughs> He's my first customer here in Denver, Vance was. Um, thank you. <laughs> well done. Everybody else could take that lead, too. Everybody else could take that lead. Give him an extra sample. Speaking of extras, uh, we have some giveaways today. I have a GoPro that Brooke has over here. And then uh, the Elk 2 team was nice enough to give us some goodies. Uh, we have a Calinari shirt, something signed. Um, it's hurt right now. Uh, we have two Avalanche tickets, we have two Nuggets tickets, and then the captain of the Abs, I believe, right? What's his name again? Um, so the reason I say that, you guys all got a raffle ticket. Did anyone not get a raffle ticket? And don't lie. Okay. <laughs> Brooke, can you come? Uh, oh, that's it. No raffle ticket, a little, not the wristband. All right, Quantum doesn't get any, Doby doesn't get any. Everyone else can get one. All right, and then any question that's asked during our panel will get an additional raffle ticket. So, and then you'll get to choose which one of these gifts that you want. I'll let it be a, a democracy on that part of it. Sound good? So I just want to incentivize you guys to ask some more questions. This is, again, a, a user group meeting, so I really want it to be interactive. So please feel free to ask questions throughout. All right? So Brooke will track you down as you guys ask some questions. And Vance, we'll go ahead and give you one for giving me a plug. We're going to go ahead and give Vance a plug. Uh, let's see. So one and done for the Colorado Digital Media User Group. I say that it's a rhetorical question, kind of. We'll see how it goes. Uh, there's also an event coming up uh, March 21st, I believe, uh, that Dave Zur is leading up. It's a chapter for the Rocky Mountain Sports Video Group. Uh, the, an, an, an invitation will be extended to you guys as well. Dave and I have put some thoughts in, and perhaps we can either stagger these things, combine these things, but sports video obviously has a lot of synergies with what uh, a lot of you do who are non-sports. So Dave will talk a little bit more about that uh, later, but we'll shoot you that link um, uh, after, this, uh, after this event. Ann already mentioned her team videotaping uh, these sessions. We'll make them available probably on our Store Excel channel. Uh, so if there's anything that you don't want said or recorded, just let me know. We can cut it out. I thought I'd share, lastly, just some trends that we're seeing. Again, we're a systems integrator, so I, my job is to meet and talk with customers like you and help listen to what your problems are, help trying to solve what your problems are. So I thought I'd share with you what I'm seeing on the systems integrator side. And this, again, not, not just Colorado, this cuts across government, this cuts across uh, coast to coast, but proxy-based editing. A lot of field-based editors out there, freelance editors out there. Some of the technology, such as Adobe, can allow you to do proxy-based editing, but yet being able to conform in high res, since that's your ultimate uh, deliverable. So we're definitely seeing that as a trend more and more, is being able to leverage proxy-based editing. Considerations to get off Mac. There's at least two of you, <laughs> maybe three of you. There's two groups in this, in this room right now who is seriously considering, or, or at least the momentum is already uh, swayed, to get off their Macs and onto Windows-based platforms for the, on the editing side. It's very surprising, very disappointing in my opinion, uh, only because of Apple, not because of you guys considering it. But just to let you know that I see other customers considering that same thing. It's a big investment to get off of Mac. Uh, it was a big investment to get into Mac. It's a big investment to get off of Mac. I think, Tim, you told me one of the quotes on the, the HP Windows servers is like, what was it, like eight, ten grand a workstation a pop? So it's not that cheap to get off of Mac, except especially if you already have that investment put into it. But it's definitely something that we're seeing. Uh, the good news from a quantum perspective or from Adobe perspective, you're platform agnostic, so you have some good investment protection on that side. Digital asset management, or what I'm calling super finder, people are needing something more than just finder to help search and retrieve assets. And so a lot of what we do on the systems integrator side is help customers on the workflow side, just to make workflow optimization better from ingest to distribution, as well as just being able to search and retrieve assets. And so we're seeing the need more and more uh, to have super finder type of capabilities. Uh, some of you have already uh, invested in digital asset management platforms, so you guys can speak to that as well. Um, but that's 
that's going to continue and trend as more and more digitization is happening, more repurposing is happening. And when that, when you put those two things together, you need to be able to index and search and archive more intelligently. Speaking of archive, um, LTO is still king. Tape is still king on the archiving side. I think there's only one of you in the room that's not using tape for backup and or archive. That's Tim, Dish Network, thank you. Um, but, uh, <laughs> but it's still the most cost-effective uh, medium in which to, uh, which to put content on. Uh, LTO 7 is now shipping at six terabytes native uh, on a cartridge. So uh, I'm a little bit surprised by that, but at the same time, there is some trends. It might be my next one. Um, I'll go to the last one real quick, is cloud considerations. So cloud, a, a few years ago, was I was talked about you know, the higher levels and organizations would have to push down the requirements saying, tell me why we can't. You on the, on the, on the engineering side or the ROP side, you come back with the reasons that, that why you couldn't. And you know, digital media is very challenging in cloud, especially public cloud, especially if you have active environments where you're doing a, a lot of retrieves. So cloud is really not, hasn't been that affordable and also technology feasible. But what we are seeing is the enablement both in cost is technology on the integration side, on being able to have a hybrid type of approach. So rather than it's not all or nothing, we're going to do compute, we're going to do editing, we're going to do proxying, transcoding, everything, distribution on the cloud. You're just picking one core function and using that uh, as far as the cloud side. And the good news, the technology partners, whether it's Adobe Quantum or, and many others, they're now enabling that hybrid type of approach for cloud management. So that's definitely a trend. It's, it's, it's happening. People are using a private cloud. Dish Network really uses a private cloud today. They uh, DR up in Cheyenne, right, I think. Uh, so you can just hit it as a private cloud interface. I think Stars, you guys DR out to uh, Castle Rock, I think. So you guys are, a lot of you doing private cloud already today, but moving more into public cloud interfaces is definitely a, a, a real trend that we're finally seeing, Some money being spent. Okay, what was that? I skipped one. Oh. Um, it's kind of why I stay in business a little bit, but the continued fight between creative and IT groups, it's just amazing whether it's big organizations and small, where the IT people, when they don't invest in what, to understand what media people do, they kind of have Teflon and alligator arms, uh, and then reciprocally when, when the creative people feel that from the IT side, they have to step up and try to be more technical themselves. And it's, it's oftentimes an imbalance, it's sometimes why I kind of keep a job or we need systems integrators to help you a little bit there. But there is still a conscious fight between IT and the creative. So uh, unfortunately, I'm not seeing that going away anytime soon, but it could be good. OK, other than that, any questions or comments? Because we'll shift gears into the moderated panel. <coughs> no? Thank you again so much. I, I didn't think we'd have this many people show up, so I apologize for the cramped quarters. I took off 25% and looks like another 25% came, but <laughs> <laughs> welcome.